Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are over here at Red Rock Casino on the list for 1 3. It's a $500 max buy in now. Uh, 1 3 game. It used to always be 1 2 over here, so now it's 1 3. A little bit bigger game. Been playing it a lot lately. It's been a pretty good game. So without further ado, I'll tell you what, we're going to get to the tables. Okay, so for the first two and a half hours, we didn't even film. We were sitting in, what was that, seat four or five? I really don't like filming there. It, you're just too close. I just uh, choose not to film when I'm in those seats. So yeah, for two and a half hours, I held the seat change button. Uh, I had Ace King like three times already tonight and won all three times uh, with it. So that was kind of nice. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. So we're gonna kick off here two and a half hours in. Very first hand, we get moved over a little bit. You can see a little more of the table now. This hand, we're on the big blind. We're looking at Ace King. Folds all the way over to the button, raises the $10. Of course, we're going to three bet, make it 35. Button calls. Flop comes out, queen high, queen five deuce. We're going to lead out, bet 25. Button folds, take it down. This next hand here, uh, we have nine, 10 of diamonds. There's a limp under the gun. We raise it up to $15. Limper calls, flop comes out, king 10, three, couple hearts. He checks, we see bet, $30, take it down. Uh, yeah, not much really here to evaluate or anything, but these are just the types of hands that you, you need to win. These are the, uh, the little stack builders, if you will. Make some bets, see bet. A lot of times you can take it down. You can do this quite a few times and, and slowly build your stack up. All right, this next hand here, we are in the big blind. Uh, there's like three or four limpers, and we look down at jack eight, offsuit, and yeah, we're just going to check our option here. And the flop comes out pretty decent. Uh, Ace, eight, eight. Uh, looking good. We're just going to check um, under the gun one, under the gun plus one, bets out. How much? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember this. Under the gun plus one, leads out for $10, folds all the way around to me. We're going to make that call. Turn is a six of hearts, putting a couple hearts on board. Check again. He bets 20 this time. And we just made the call. Obviously, he has an ace here. Gonna get a little more money out of him on the river. Probably could go ahead and raise here, maybe uh, start building the pot a little bit more, but you know what, we didn't. So the river comes out, this is this is great. The river comes out and it's another ace. So yeah, um, I, uh, uh, I, I slow played that just beautifully. Uh, he bets out 40, 50 bucks and I fold face up and he smiles. Uh, he was a pretty tight player, so I'd tell you, he had an ace. I mean, he didn't show me the ace, he had an ace. And this is why it's so important on the previous two hands to go ahead and bet those out, take down some small pots so you can afford to be a jackass and lose it right back. So. Okay, very next hand, we're in the small blind. There's one limper, goes around to the button, who makes it $10. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little steaming on my slow play of my eight still. And I make a... I compound that mistake and I call with my 5 3. Um, not because I think it's a good hand, but the button hasn't been the strongest of players. So I'm actually just, at this point, like, I'm going to win this hand. I'm going to take it down from him. That's just, that's just the way I'm feeling at the moment. The limper calls. So we got 30 in the middle. Flop comes out. Ace, nine, deuce with two hearts. So, yeah, we just, you know, we nailed that flop. Oh, yeah, we got a gut shot. We need a four. Checks over to the button, and he C-bets for $15. We quickly make the call. I make a quick call here. I think might be able to get him to slow down, find a way to steal this in later streets. Limper folds. Turn is a nine. So there's two nines on board. It's a nine of hearts, putting three hearts on board. I check, and he checks behind. So now I know, okay, I got, I got some cards in the river. They're going to help me win this pot. And the river is a ten of hearts four hearts on board this time i lead out for thirty dollars he folds kind of chuckles and said i had an ace there i'll let you get there with those hearts i said yeah I turned it over i said i just have a five of diamonds but i think it was good <laughs> i don't show too much hoping to kind of get under his skin unfortunately showing that he uh he called everything from there on out i couldn't make him fold so perhaps i shouldn't have showed the bluff because there was a few hands later in the night that uh, tried bluffing him off of 
and he'd have third or second pair and he said i can't i can't fold and uh yeah and he did not big blind pocket eights raised to 27 dollars. i call middle position limper calls flop is no good for us we fold and of course just a whole mess of hands that we just can't play and, we, and, you, and you fold a lot so like i was saying earlier you win some of those small pots and then you fold a lot and uh, you know and it's these kind of nights at least from a vlogger's perspective or at least from my perspective as a vlogger you're trying to re you're, you're trying to record you're trying to you know hopefully come up with something entertaining that you'll want to watch you want to hit the thumbs up you want to subscribe you want to leave a comment you know all, the, all those things right and you're just not getting the cards like you can't play much so then you start playing blind hands and you know raising it up with squadoosh and then hoping to take it down and you know playing seven deuce even though the seven deuce game isn't on because we're a low stakes game so you know uh you, you do things that aren't as disciplined as you know you should be. We're in there seeing flops. We're not hitting flops. We're not winning pots. Stack starts to go down. Um, you start investing money into these pots. You try to be creative and win these pots. Stack starts to go down. Um, but, you know, it makes the table fun as well. I, I like to try to keep the table light and laughing, and sometimes it doesn't always happen. Keep the table laughing, and it, usually you're going to, well, yeah, you're going to have a, a good time. But people become a little bit looser. And so, yeah, it, it can work to your advantage if you can keep the table light. And uh, so now from our starting stack, at least from when the video started at 625, we're now down in like the 450 range, 425 range. Hey, we need, to, we need to add on and get back up to the 500. But before we can do that, phone battery starting to get low. Plug it in. We're getting a charge. We're under the gun. We're getting a hand. Having difficulty making the phone, like, except the charger, not, not, not recognizing it, whatever. I looked out quickly. Now, I'm going to preface this a little bit. Back up a second. So there's been, the table has some new players now. And so it's livened up. There's been, there's been more raises pre-flop, which is nice. So the pot's been a little bit better. Um, there's been some three bets. So it's, it's been a good game. I looked at a pocket kings. Oh, and by the way, I'm not recording it. Trying to get the charger on. I'm first to act, so I just peeked down, pocket kings. So now I'm like, I gotta get my camera set up. And so I just limp, because I'm assuming someone's gonna bump it up and I'm gonna re-raise it. And I look up and I, and I got four callers. There's five of us going to a flop. Damn! Damn! And I got pocket kings. And I don't have my camera set up. Yeah, I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. Strange. So I've compounded so poor play, poor management of hands, limping pocket kings so I can have four callers. Oh, and we're vlogging it, so hey, that's good. Flop comes out, king, jack, five with two hearts. I'm a genius. You're an idiot. Oh, come on. Top set, I just check. And the reason why I check here, I mean, I have everything. I got, I got the top set kings here. Wow, there's two to a straight draw and two to a flush draw and 85 people in the pot. I decided to check here. Under the gun, plus one, bets out $20. Everybody else has folded. Of course, we make the call. The turn is a six of diamonds. He bets out $40 this time. And now with two different straight draws, two different flush draws, not knowing where he's at because it was a limped pot, we raise it up to 140 and he makes the call. The river is a queen of spades. This is this is a great card. I have 202 left. I go all in, and he quickly calls. And I throw him my kings, and he mucks, and we're good. That was uh, that was nice. All right, we're in, we're in business, and we got the phone charging, and we're ready to record again. So uh, here we go. Remember earlier, I was telling you sometimes for a vlog we do silly things, and uh, you know just to because you know it hasn't been. A, I mean, you're, you're watching. It hasn't been an overly exciting. Uh, vlog tonight i mean it hasn't been just like wow look look at these hands this is woo, incredible can't believe this wasn't on tv it's just not that kind of night it goes that way sometimes i decide i'm on the button watch closely here i'm not gonna look at my cards i'm gonna raise it up blind so i decide let's see how the action goes it folds all the way to me i'm on the button i'm gonna go ahead and raise it up i'm going against the blinds and i'm not gonna look at my card I raise it up to ten dollars Big blind does make the call. The flop is six, seven, seven with two spades. 
He checks a continuation bet for $15, and he makes the fold. So now I'm just, you know, <laughs> all right, that's cool. I go look at my hand. I had ace queen. What a, what a raise with ace queen. Anyway, and what's what's cool is uh, I noticed as, as the dealer was, was dealing the cards, the one card kind of floated in the air. And as you can see here, slowing down the camera, you can see that ace go right to the camera. But obviously, it, it went by way too fast. I didn't see the ace. I didn't know I had an ace. But I just thought that was kind of cool that the camera was able to catch uh, this ace going by. Uh, so we take it down. So again, try to do something kind of cool like, I want to play a blind hand. And yeah, I had ace queen. I was, I was doing it for the content. It was for you guys. It was all for you guys. So you're welcome. You are welcome. This next hand is a pretty big one. Uh, we are um, in the small blind. Cutoff raises at $10. We make the call. Big blind makes the call. And middle position limper makes the call. Definitely merit for raising here. Um, but I, I'm, I'm starting to wind down. I, I'm getting a little tired. I, it's it's a, about almost 3 o'clock in the morning. We're going uh, four ways to a flop. But you know what? We got two-fifths of a royal flush. Let's see that. Flop comes out. Ace, queen, jack. I hit the royal, oh no, no. I hit a straight, ace, queen, jack, two clubs and a spade. I check it, gets checked around to the cutoff who bets out $20. All right, we're 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 not gonna call anymore. We got two players behind us. Time to get the flush draws out of there. Or if there's a set, make them pay to see another card. We raised up to $80 right now. It's probably a little small. Uh, I think we could have went bigger here because they're really priced in to call that. And sure enough, when big buying folds, Middle position player does make the $80 call. And the original better, the 20, goes all in for a little over $400. I proceed to go all in behind him. I have $700. And the middle position player goes all in as well. The run out is 8-8, eight, eight, no clubs. Whew, no clubs. Uh, the, uh, the cutoff shows ace jack for a flop two pair. Middle position player also has king ten of clubs. Oh, -ho 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 -ho. he was free rolling there, free rolling. I had about a hundred dollars more than him, so it would have left me pretty crippled had that club come. So he was free rolling. We chop up the other guy's money and then we split the four hundred up, so an extra two hundred. So not too bad. Um, we only put a couple hands after this. Nothing, nothing really materialized, and then it was time to go. It was three in the morning. I was ready to rack up, and we book a win. Slid for five hours, out for nine hundred and ten. All right, guys. Well, it was a blast uh, bringing another video. Uh, we'll we'll get some, uh, hopefully, some a little more high octane coming your way. And that's the goal. We'll see what we can come up with. But you know, it is what it is. I I'm trying not to over force it. We'll force a few scenarios here and there, but. And again, you know, I want to be responsible with my bankrolls. Uh, so I appreciate you hanging in there. Those that are coming back to the channel, thanks for coming back. I know I lost a lot of subscribers, wasn't doing anything. Um, so thank you for coming back. Got, if I got any new ones out there, I appreciate you checking out the channel. And, uh, and just give me the support. So anyways, folks, thanks again. I look forward to seeing you at the tables. Good night.